She stopped that carrying on when I'm getting on, so that's good. We'll see how we go. There is a fly hanging around me. Good girl. Walk on. Good girl. Yeah, walk on. Yeah, walk on. Yeah, yeah. Walk on. Good girl. Huh? <laughs> I'm not exactly a fashionable person. But that's okay. You don't have to have fashion to be able to ride a horse. You just gotta be able to ride. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> Stop lollipopping. She's doing like a lollipop. She's trotting like she's got a lollipop in her legs, like a spring in her legs. We're going slowly. Good girl. Lovely. And she's again avoiding this area. I don't know if there's something about that tree maybe. Maybe there's a branch that's going to come down and she's trying to warn me. I don't know. Does there have to be a reason why that's the side? I was thinking it's because where she carried on with the dentist. But I'm getting a much better reception out of her this morning than what I did the other day. She's going in a nice, steady, Now she was going in a nice steady movement, now she's decided she's going to turn and go silly. We're going to walk the other direction and again hope for the best. This is the direction she plays up in and we'll see how she goes. She wants to go out the gate, fair enough, I can understand it, she's been trapped in here for a long time. Gonna ask her to trot. Trot, 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 trot. Beautiful seat. Whoop! So she did it again. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back around here. We're gonna go back to her slowly. We're gonna walk around and then we're gonna go to a trot. And we're gonna. Rightio, she's given me angst again, so we're going to go right. Well, if we're going to do that, we're going to go this way. Until we give this, until we give it this direction, without trouble, this is what we're going to do. We're going to practice this direction. And she's going to release it, or she's going to have no, no release. I'm going to keep, keep that pressure there. I'm going to keep the pressure there. Now it's going to move off the pressure. Move off the pressure. Let's, Get those hind ends done. Good. Let's go this way. This way. We're going to turn this way too. What we do on one side, we do on the other. This is all just getting her to remember and think about what we're doing. The sooner she gets in with the program, the better. Up. So she's going to test me again. Good, that was better. And then I release that pressure there because she is listening. Yep, I am get, taking that pressure away, giving her the ability to use the reins without. Now, so now I'm gonna put that pressure back on because she's not listening and we'll keep going. Keep going around till she releases with this end. Release and walk. And wool, and wool, and stretch, and wool, and wool. Good. Okay. What we do one side, we do the other. Go back around again. And we're going to go around again. And see if she carries on again. I'm giving her the option here to do the right thing. She's trying to get out of it. Trot, 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 ah. 
And we had this same trouble. And this is all consistency, you see. And she went to get rear up then. So I'm going to make her move her feet. If she's going to rear, I'm going to make her move her feet. Because if she, if she does that rubbish, I cannot come off. So if she starts trotting, she's going to have a hard time rearing up. Get up. Good. Much better. Come on. Ah. Good. Good. See if we can make it around. And we do. Good job. Good job. There we go. Good job. And walk. Good job. Actually, we'll keep trotting. Trot. Trot. Ah. All right, we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep her going. She's going to carry on. I'm going to keep her going. So we've got to just make sure we up the ante there. We're going to go around again. Two times before I release. Good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good girl. That's relaxing. Good. And relax. Good. And relax. Good. She says, you don't mean it. I says, I do bloody mean it. I do mean it. I didn't take that shit that time. I kept her moving forwards. I want her to understand that moving forwards is the way to release. Moving forwards at the pace I'm asking is the way for her to release. And we're going to go around one more. Good girl. Good girl. All the way. All the way. Good girl. Now we're going to walk. Walk. Walk on. Walk on. And you can see there, she has really tried her best there to thwart me on my efforts. She's threatened to jump up. She's threatened to take off that direction and she's bluffing me now that bluff might turn into an actual real threat at some point we never know with a horse and what happens if it does well you deal with it when it happens by driving the horse more forward every time she stops there's got to be a reason if you if she's stopping you got to have a reason to stop Time down is no good for a young horse. You need to keep going. You can stop every now and again and let them have a think about things. But when they're misbehaving like that, the miles is what's going to do it. Getting those miles under the belt is what's going to do it. And she really needs a lot, of, a lot more hard uh, miles than what I'm giving her. Um, we need to get back into that paddock over there at a later date and do some work out of the round yard. But she's now listening lovely. I'm going to ask for a trot again. Trot, 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 good girl. Trot, good girl. And this horse knows the proximity. Ah, and she's going to do it again. So we're going to keep going through it. We're going to keep going through it. We're going to go fast faster there she does it again I'm going to stop her and turn her into that fence line again good she didn't do it so she's listening and that's good I'm trying to be as gentle on the reins as I can I don't want to be pulling on her mouth I want to be using my inside leg and push her back where she's got to go and I'm going to turn and we're going to turn. Good job. And we're going to go this direction and we're going to trot around this way. Just a trot. I'm going to give her the reins. Let her make the decisions for a bit. Let her make a mistake. She can't learn if you don't let her make a mistake. She wants to go into a canter. We're going, no, we're not going to go into a canter. We're going to trot. Trotting's a lot more work. Come on. She's getting a puffin' billy girl. You can have a break soon. So 
So she's thinking I'm scooping because I'm doing a rising trot. If I settle down, I go to a sitting trot. Oh, I nearly got hit by a bird. So we're going to just let her stand for a minute now and absorb what's just happened. Drop. Drop there. Good. Drop. Good. Just going to let her think about this. She's actually done a lot better today than she did the other day. It took 45 minutes to get her to listen. Today it's only taken 15 minutes. That's good. That's three times quicker. And I had a day off in between. So she had yesterday off. She didn't have any riding yesterday. This is not the time I've been riding her. Usually I'm riding her around 11 a.m., 10.30, 11 a.m. This morning it's earlier. I think she's better off earlier. She's got a bit more energy. She's less lazy. She's more cooperative. So I'm going to start working her out earlier in the day. I'm going to have to anyway because this sun is getting so hot that by 10 a.m. now it's going to be way too hot to get on her. I need to start riding at 6 a.m. Getting all that angst out while she's got that energy. Run, run, run with the energy and let her work those miles out. I'm going to keep her moving and ask her to go around again. And trot. I'm going to sit this trot. Actually, I didn't sit it. Good girl. Good job. Great job. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Lovely. And I'm not even having any reins that are... My reins are nice and loose. Good girl. And she's listening without me having to direct her at all. She's understanding what I'm asking. She's listening to my leads. And she's doing a great job. Yep. And I need to be really praising her for that and walk walk good good job and we're walking again we're going to walk and we're going to turn and we're going to go the other direction and this is much better much better so we're not going to have to go for 45 minutes today whoa that was la lack of leadership on my part then. I just totally... Now you watch now, I'll have to correct that. That was my fault, not her. I just did not have the reins where I wanted them. I wasn't ready to go. Good girl. Good job. And good girl. So she got into a little bit of a lollipop canter there for a second and I'm going to stop her on that. I'm going to wall. We're going to wall for a second. We're going to have a break for a second. I'm going to hop down. Just for a moment. And we're going to let her think when you, you know, let her think for a minute. She's doing really well. And uh, I'm pretty pleased about this. So I'm going to be... Uh, making sure that she ends up every day having this consistency happening. So how long have we been going now? We've been going probably uh, 20 minutes or so. So that's not bad. Yet the other day it was 45 minutes till I got her to a point where she'd actually listen. So this is good. Now what I want to do with her now is make sure she's still listening. I'm going to hop on and mount the other, the other side and start again. And we'll see what happens. Good girl. We'll see if she's got the poops because she thought she was finished. And I think she's not going to have the poops with me. I think she's going to be fine about it. And she was. And we're going to stand. Good. And drop. 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 Good girl. Good job. Drop down. Relax. So she's listening really, really nicely. I'm feeling, <coughs> I'm feeling very much like she's... Um, <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> my, my throat is um, ugh. It's all on here. So she's allowed me to jump on and jump off, which is good. I'm pleased about that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to hop off on this side. 
Good girl. Good job. Now I'm going to wait and I'm going to say to her, Rightio, this is good. And I'm going to let her, let her, I can't see anything, sorry about it, chat people, but I've got my glasses aren't on right now. But I'm going to let her do what she's going to do. And I'm going to uh, let her think about it. I think she really needs to um, let me back on again in a minute. I'm going to give her a minute to think. So she's thinking, yep, I'm done. And let's see the attitude and see what happens. So come on. I'm going to bring her back around here. I don't think she's going to argue with me. And this is important. This is important because you want a horse that you can get on and off. That isn't going to throw a tantrum when you go to get back on. And she says, aha, you're going to try and get back on me. Now that's might not, she might not like it because this is the third time I've mounted her, but she's, begun, she's not going to like it, but she's going to take it. She's taking it and she's accepting it. And that's really important. And she's accepting all the stuff that I do, all the silly, billy stuff that I do, all the wibble wobble, all that sort of stuff. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Will she accept me going on her butt? She will accept me going on her butt. Good girl. So we're going to go around again. We're going to ask her very nicely to be uh, listening. And we're going to ask for a trot. And you know, this is such a good thing because even though we've had some hard times, the fact that we've now sorted it out, she understands where the leadership is. She understands I'm the leader. She gets it. Look how much smoother she's behaving. She's not giving me any angst whatsoever. I can let her do this without even directing. And she's no, she knows I did a slight move to the edge side there and she instantly did a spin. So she's really in tune with my body right now. And that is what you need. If you're doing barrel racing, this would be a great barrel horse. Seriously good. She's going to try and go into a canter, so I'm going to reduce that. Good. And she went into one. Huh? She thinks if she canters, then I'll let her stop. But I want her to trot, not canter. I want a wall. I'm going to trot. 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 Good. Trot. Good. Trot. Trot. And now she's giving me grief this direction. A little bit. She wants release. That's okay. Yep. I just nearly lost my seat then. And we got a little bit of a thing out of it, but I want a smooth run. I wanted to go around in a smooth circle at least one time without changing from a trot to a canter. We go to trot. I've got to be careful what I say. She is a vocal horse, and if you say trot, she'll trot. If you say canter, she can canter. I'm controlling that canter there, but controlling that trot, I mean. And we're going to walk walk. We're going to bring her back in. We're going to walk. We're going to stop. We're going to sit. We're going to drop. This is fantastic. And I'm going to leave it at this for today. She's done a very good job. So while ever she's doing such a fantastic job, and I'm going to... Good. Good. Okay. Round in. Good girl. So I'm really pleased with this. I'm more than happy to let her go. She has done fantastic. She has earned this morning's grazing time by listening and being a good girl. And with young uns, when they do well, reward them. Reward them with a release while they're doing well. Because you... You don't realise the release that you give them 
is what they're wanting. That's what they're wanting, that release. And if they get it because they've been good, it, it reinforces them to listen and perform better the next time. And they'll test you, they'll keep testing you. They'll test you many times over, but they will always be a good horse because if you're constantly reinforcing and you're constantly getting things right, by the time you hit six or seven years of age and you had a couple of thousand miles underneath you, she's gonna be one of the best horses you'll come across. Good girl.